Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be diving into the very important topic of beta as it relates to finance and stocks. Beta measures how much a stock's price moves compared to the overall market. Now, when we talk about the overall market, usually people will use something like the S&P 500 as a proxy, you know, the 500 largest cap stocks in the United States. Now, beta is really on a spectrum where it can go basically from negative infinity all the way up to positive infinity. But in this video, we're really gonna be looking at four specific cases or examples. So let's talk about um, if a stock has a beta of zero. That would mean that this stock has no correlation with the market. And by market, in this video, we're gonna specifically refer to the S&P 500 index. So when the market moves, we don't really know which way the stock is going to move based on the market's movements. Whereas a stock that has a beta of one, when the market moves, we would expect the stock to move roughly in the same direction and in the same proportion. Now, a stock that has a negative beta of lower than one, let's use negative one as an example, will have a negative correlation with the market. So when the market or the S&P 500 goes up, we would expect the stock to probably go down and vice versa. If the stock market goes down, then we expect this specific stock to go up. And then finally, there's the case of a beta higher than one. We could use two as an example. This would be a very high beta. It's more volatile than the market. So when the stock market goes up, this stock should really go up. Whereas when the stock market goes down, this stock should really go down. Now let's look at some historical examples. For our zero beta asset example in this video, we're gonna be using JP Morgan's short-term bond index, JPST, which is essentially a cash equivalent, and it has a beta of close to zero of only 0.05. Now, the thing about cash is it really is uncorrelated to stock market movements. So this cash is basically going to not be affected by the changes in the movements of the market. So if the market goes up or the market goes down or the market goes back up, it really doesn't matter. Our JPST, this blue line, which is a cash equivalent, just keeps chugging along regardless of the market's movements. Now for our next example, let's look at an asset which has a beta of approximately one or more specifically 1.01, .01, which is the stock of Home Depot. Now we can see over the course of the past three or four years, as the market goes up this green line, we can see that the Home Depot price, the blue line, roughly follows the market. So as the market moves, we see roughly similar moves in Home Depot and their general trajectory is roughly the same over time. Now for our next example, let's look at a very high beta stock. And in this one, we're gonna look at the Carnival Cruise Line, which has a beta of 2.7. Now, as in the rest of this video, the green line is the market or the S&P 500 index, which is relatively less volatile than the high beta stock. Now, let's look at this instance over here in August of this year, for example, when the market goes down, we see that the Carnival Cruise Line stock goes down by a lot, whereas when the S&P 500 or the market goes up, this high beta stock really goes up. So you can see that these movements generally track each other, but that the high beta stock movements are extremely exaggerated or more volatile and intense than the overall market. Now for our last example, let's look at a negative beta stock, and we're gonna be looking at this Chinese real estate company, BEKE, which has a beta of negative 0.71 when compared to the market, the S&P 500. So let's zoom in on this time period over here. We can see that the market is the green line, and the, the market dips a little bit right here, and at the same time, we see this BEKE really go up. Whereas then over here, we see the market rising and rising and rising, and we see that BEKE is really falling and falling and falling. So a negative beta stock will generally move in the opposite direction of the market, 
and investors could consider putting negative beta stocks into their portfolio as a diversification benefit so that if the market uh, has something bad happen overall, your portfolio might have some protection. To learn how to calculate the beta of a stock yourself in Excel, check out my video here. Mm -hmm.